McCain would be ahead. Yeah. It's the economy, the economy, the economy, and that's been the problem. Well, we could ask the campaigns about this. I would love in to terms do of that. Strategy. Oh my gosh, look who's here. It's oh, Nicole Wallace, oh, 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 McCain's oh. senior strategist, and Obama senior strategist, I know, I Robert know. Gibbs. Nicole. Hey, uh, Gibby. How are you guys? You know, Barnaker How are you? is a friend of Sean Hannity's. And when you attack, <laughs> an attack against one Irishman is an attack against all Irishmen. That was something. Why were you beating up on Sean? <laughs> Look, I was just having a little fun on Fox News. Uh, why not? Uh, why not have a little fun? You know, it was fun to play a little bit. Uh Play a little bit of Sean's game back to Sean. Uh, you know, I thought uh, I thought it was a good exchange, and I hope people get a chance to look at it. All right. Uh, speaking of Fox News, though, Nicole, um, uh, Sarah Palin's been on Fox a few times. I think you have those those viewers as voters. What about MSNBC? What about Morning Joe? What about Sarah Palin on Morning Joe? Oh, that Mika, would be great. Mika, you and you alone, you're on the short list, Mika. <laughs> oh. I would love Ooh. to talk to her. Ooh, I am fascinated harsh. by her. You and you alone, what that's am I, harsh. a potted plant? I feel like Brendan Sullivan. Isn't that? Chopped <laughs> liver. You're chopped <laughs> liver this time. Oh. I'm yeah. chopped liver. That's yeah. fine. Well, under, under Mika's guidelines, we already have you, Joe. Oh, oh, okay. Very good. Oh, Aren't you something? It, uh, uh, Why don't we stop yeah. talking uh, about an, TV that's people? That's certainly illuminating. That... <laughs> <laughs> that is illuminating. So everywhere I go, it's like Mika winks Mark, and says, he's with me. There. Yeah, exactly. No. Okay. No, but I would love to interview her, and we should She's interview more her. Fun. We should have her That's on. Exactly. All right, so let, let's talk about this. Uh, uh, Robert Gibbs, is it unfair to uh, make the kind of statement that Cindy McCain made about Barack Obama abandoning the troops in the field by not voting to fund them? Well, look, Barack Obama obviously un understands and honors the commitment and the sacrifice that our men and women in uniform make. I, I, I can't imagine what Cindy McCain's reaction must have been when John McCain walked down to the Senate floor and also voted against uh, funding the troops in Iraq. Uh, but look, you mentioned a minute ago uh, in your teaser that if if the McCain campaign were talking about the issues, they might be ahead. That's their choice. Right now, if you turn on your television set anywhere in this country, every single ad that they're running is a negative attack ad. That's not what people want to hear about. They want to hear about our plans for cutting small business and family taxes. They want to hear about creating jobs. They want to hear about how we're going to get out of our entanglement in Iraq. That's what people want to hear about. They don't want to see us fight. They don't want to see more negative attack ads. Okay. They want it's a succinct discussion on the issue. Unless it's Hannity, hmm? then it's fun. Yeah, then oh. fighting Hannity well, is fun. Uh, Hannity's, uh, Hannity, my friend, is a whole other subject. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. But, Nicole, what do you, what do you uh, think of that? Because there is a huge economic crisis, obviously, going on. Is it perhaps uh, more focused and, and more targeted for the McCain campaign, for John McCain yeah. to deal with the crisis at hand, as opposed to attacking Barack Obama about past allegiances? Well, listen, in the history of American politics, no one has spent more millions on negative attack ads than Barack Obama. There hasn't been anyone in the Democratic Party or the Republican Party who has ever spent more money on negative and, in many cases, untruthful attack ads against their opponent than Barack Obama has. So I think if we're going to keep it honest and keep it real, which you guys always do, that's where we start. But on the issues, this is a moment of national crisis. This isn't just a hiccup or an economic downturn. It is a moment of national crisis. And I think that what the people have seen from John McCain is someone who believes, as Teddy Roosevelt, his hero, did, in being the man in the arena. He went to Washington. He helped. He played a constructive role in finding a solution that the, now we know was simply a tourniquet. But we are campaigning on our ideas. There's one bright spot in America's economy, very bleak economy, and that is our small businesses. In a year when we We've lost 700,000 jobs. America's small businesses have actually added 350,000 jobs. So we're hoping, we're hoping, if Robert will let us, to have a debate about policies that will decimate the last flourishing area of our economy. Those are the ones that Barack Obama advocates, mandating health care, raising their taxes, taxing 50% of their income, and policies that John McCain is Robert, pushing to get this I'll economy have you growing again. i to that, Robert, but I also want you to yeah. talk about the news, and <laughs> it shocks Barnacle and myself. Another Another $350 billion for AIG? Come on, when is that going to end? Does Barack Obama support another $300 billion or so dollars to bail out a company who sends its executives for spa treatments while uh, the company and shareholders are going uh, down the tubes? 
Well, because, <clears throat> because Barack wants to talk about the issues, you heard this in the very first answer in the debate the other night. What, what ought to happen with AIG is they ought to bring a check this morning to the United States Treasury made out to the taxpayers of this country to refund them for the junket that they took. There also ought to be included letters from the executives resigning from that company, and no more money should go to AIG until we get this thing figured out. Now, the $300 billion proposal that you may be talking about is the erratic proposal that John McCabe made during this debate. No, 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 it's no, to no, take no, $300 no, billion dollars you more know what? and, I don't, and give I don't it want straight to banks. You here, but actually on the front page of the paper, they're talking about Wall Street Journal is talking about an AIG bailout is hit by new cash woes. Uh, and now the Fed's moving to widen available loans to them. I said $300 billion. Actually, it may only be $150 billion for AIG, according to this report. <laughs> would, would Barack Obama support that? Look, we'd have to see the details of this, but I can tell you, we're not going to support any more money until we figure out why executives are taking junkets. Those executives should be fired. They're, they should reimburse the taxpayers of this country for the junkets that they take. That's why Barack Obama fought to make sure there was oversight in this bailout and there weren't excessive uh, uh, compensation and golden parachutes for the CEOs that got us into this mess. That's why John McCain's proposal to reward the banks is another bad idea. The riskier the loans, the bigger the payout in John McCain's plan. We need a common sense plan to add regulation back to Wall Street to make sure the speculators aren't in charge, to create jobs in this country. Barack Obama's going to cut taxes on America's small businesses. He's going to give a tax cut to America. America's families, and that's a recipe for getting this economy moving. Mike again. Barnacle. Hey, Nicole, you know, I, I, I love the both of Hi, you. Hi, Mike. I, I love the both of you when you're on here. You're both great. You're both personable. You, you both have your talking points. You're both funny. But you're both at one level, at this stage of my life and the life of this campaign, incredibly <laughs> annoying. What? What? And, no. and here's why. We love why them. Are you because, that, because your because your candidates because both your candidates are annoying in this sense. What? That everybody right. in America who has a kid who takes the kid shopping in a grocery store or a department store and the kid is grabbing items <laughs> off the racks, you turn and say to the kid, No, we can't afford that. Put it back, you're not getting it. Why don't both of your candidates look into the camera, and they didn't do it the other night, and say in all of these federal programs, we can't afford this one. It's got to go. Why don't you tell us the truth, Nicole? <laughs> Well, John McCain, two debates ago, was asked that very question. And frankly, it wasn't asked in such an amusing and direct way. But he was asked in this time of economic crisis, what spending would you put on hold? He said, other than taking care of our veterans, military, because we're a country engaged in two wars, and, and, and our entitlement programs, he'd back a spending freeze. Barack Obama was stumped. He couldn't name a single program that he'd cut. So John I, I, McCain is something that the American it. people Robert, know. And he Robert, is, he is, she just answered the question. Robert, respond. In the baddest box. Robert yeah. Gibbs. Hey. Hey, Mike, I feel like I need to ask Tom Brokaw for an additional 30 seconds to respond. <laughs> to, to, to Tom's not here. Just well, I'm sure you'll Mike, get it, uh, Robert. I'm sure you'll get it. <laughs> yeah, well, well, look, look, Mike, let me explain it to you because Barack Obama didn't just say it in the first debate, but also in the second debate. He said there's no way we're going to be able to fund as everything has been proposed in this campaign on the same timeline. There are things that we do have to do. Give we do have specific. to, cut, uh, we have to cut spending. We, we're not going to be able to fund increases in, in foreign assistance the way we've proposed to make sure that terrorists don't take hold uh, in countries that don't have no stable more money governments. To Egypt. That's There's, good. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's, a small, well, and, and, that's a small part. What else? Well, look, Barack Obama is going to go through this budget line by line and root out all the waste, fraud, and the abuse. But we have to get this economy back on right, track give first. Give us some specifics, though. I mean, Again, when John I McCain just gave you says, one. well, yeah, you I, there's a billion one. dollars. Well, let me give you this. There's a billion dollar. You guys always Robert, criticize Robert John McCain. There's a billion dollars. Hold on. You guys always criticize John no, no, McCain no. for saying. Joe, Joe, let, let, Joe, hold Joe, on, Joe, 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 you always criticize John McCain for saying that he's going to cut earmarks. And you say that's only $18 billion. That, that doesn't even have an impact on the overall budget. Now you're coming in with foreign assistance? That may be half a billion dollars tops. 
No, that's uh, it's actually uh, between 25 and 50 billion dollars. Uh, there's a billion dollar reading initiative that shouldn't go forward. There's a 15 billion dollar subsidy every year that we give to private insurers to undertake Medicare that's already being undertaken as a part of Medicare right now. It's a bailout. It's a giveaway to private insurance companies and to special interests that have their grip on Washington. It's a grip that Barack Obama has a record of breaking, and that's right. what it'll do in Washington. And, and, All right. and that's why we should remember, off of that answer, 1-800-PAY-GIBS. Oh, Need pay right. gibbs. I don't know. I'm for the Nicole freeze. Her I'm for the freeze, and you know what? Right I think <laughs> when Rome is burning... We're for the freeze and the government freeze the outside of the entitlement to defense and veterans. E exactly. Because, and and when, well, Barack listen, Obama, Mike, when Barack Mike Obama asked. says that... You don't need to take a, uh, a, a hatchet to this problem. You just need a scalpel. Mm. A scalpel? Really? It better be a big scalpel. All right. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Robert. Thanks, guys. Uh, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.